All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And um, I just want to do a little video. Um, I'm not sure what I've been entitled yet, but um, now I, I was just thinking about something the other day. I was watching a um a documentary um on YouTube. It's called um if you want to look it up, it's called Evacuate Earth. I'll leave a link to it in the comment section. All right, if if I remember when I upload the video, I'll leave a um a link to it in the comment section if you want to watch the documentary. As I said, just looking up, it's called Evacuate Earth on YouTube. It's about an hour and I want to say an hour and forty minutes long. It was actually a pretty good um you know uh, documentary. I believe it was made in the mid two thousands, if I'm not mistaken, right? Sometime in the mid two thousands. Is when it was made. You can tell it's um the uh, what's the word I'm looking for. You can tell that the uh, <laughs> the quality isn't that good, right? Not up to date. Um, but nevertheless, it was actually a pretty good documentary, right? They were basically going over how um you know their plans on how you know if the world was to ever be you know faced with a um unavoidable you know extinction you know level event. You know that they have and a plan to create a um a ship, which in the documentary they referred to the ship as the Ark. Right? You know, of course, you know, you know the reason why, right? Of course, they were referring to the um, you know, Noah's Ark, right? Of course, that so they named the um, the ship, the, the um, the Ark in the the documentary. Um, so what they did is uh, they had seventy five years to create a spacecraft to um you know evacuate i believe what was it 200 and about 300,000 people you know off the earth you know into the spacecraft you know before the world was to be destroyed okay and then you know they they planned on you know searching out the heavens to find you know a new um you know planet to live on which, as I said, you know, it was a very good documentary, right? I do recommend giving it a watch. You know, even though, you know, all that space is a bunch of bullshit, that ain't real. Okay, that's all a bunch of CGI, you know, in real life. That's why if you just do a search on, um, you know, the pictures of the world, okay, and you took a, take a look at these, uh, you know, these images, you're going to notice that the continents, just just say America, because that's primarily the one that's, you know, in the, uh, you know, on the pictures, you know. So if you take a look at the continents, specifically America, it's literally, it's huge on one picture, medium the next, and then little on the next picture. And not only are they changing the size of the continents, they also are changing the color. As I said, just go, do a uh, Google search on it right now. Just go online, look up picture of Earth from space, look at the pictures, and you tell me, right? And that's why, what's this character? Was it Robert Simmons, I believe? Right, Robert Simmons, which is the man who works for NASA, you know, putting these images together. You know, he admitted in an interview, you know, these images, that they're photoshopped, but they have to be. That's his exact words. He said they are photoshopped, but they have to be. Right, that's exactly what he said. You know, when they um, when they interviewed him, you know, about the images of the world from space. As like I said, just look up uh, Robert Simmons. Okay. And you can, you know, read about him. Um, But going back to what I was saying, man, you know, as they think, you know, that they're going to, you know, escape. Right. They think that they're going to, you know, get out of here, you know, when the Lord returns. Okay, they, they think they're going to escape from the Lord. Okay, that's why they have, you know, these doomsday bunkers, you know, set up, you know, all over the world. Okay, where they can flee into. And it tells you that, I believe, what is that? Revelation, the sixth chapter. It spoke about when they saw the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven. That they said to the rocks and the mountains, you know, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sits upon the throne. Right. So they were going into those doomsday bunkers, man. That's where those people were being, you know, um, may I say, hiding out. Okay. If you go to uh, 
I want to say Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16, speaks about that the Lord's going to send many hunters to hunt them out of the holes in the rocks. Why? Because that's where they're going to be hid, you know, when the Lord returns. Is they're going to be hiding in these bunkers that they have made, you know, when these plagues, you know, start to hit the world. Right? So they're going to be the first, you know, fruits that are going into servitude, so to speak, right, when the Christ returns. Right, is, is these, um, you know, global elites. Right, they're going to, you know, have the, um, what's what I'm looking for? When the Lord returns, he's going to send his angels, right, to gather the elect. Apostle Paul spoke about in, uh, what is that, First Corinthians, the 15th chapter. That in, you know, a moment, right, in the twinkle of an eye, we're all going to be changed, right? We're going to be changed into glorified bodies. And that the Lord's going to send us. To hunt these men out of these um these bunkers they're they're um hiding in, and then it's um it's off the servitude, you know, for a thousand years, you know, for these global elites. Okay, so the moral I'm trying to get at is, you can't escape the Earth, man. First of all, as I said, the Earth isn't a globe to begin with, right? That's what they taught you in school, but that's not true. Right? There is no proof that can support that because all images. And um, video of space is fake, right? And NASA admits it, right? NASA will even admit that to you. Okay, that that's all a bunch of nonsense that was made up to, um, you know, to entertain you. Okay, but it's not real. Okay, so um, you know they know that they can't get out of here, right? They know, and they can't um, they cannot escape the Earth, right? Nobody can escape the realm that we're living in right now, man. Or I should say the realm, for lack of a better word. Nobody can escape. You can't escape the earth, man. Where there is no way for you to um to get out of here. Right? We're all trapped down here together, man. Okay, no man can um can leave here. The only way you have out of um of this place is when you pass away. Because then when you pass, your spirit goes to um to the most high. That's what is that? If you go to um Ecclesiastes, what is that, twelve and seven? Right, the spirit of a man goes upward, but the spirit of an animal goes downward into the earth. Right, so the spirit of a man goes to the Lord, but the spirit of an animal goes down into the earth. Right, so as I was saying, man, you know, even though they have these plans that they're telling the people, right, you know, that we're going to, you know, try to, you know, um, what's this thing they're talking about now? They want to colonize, you know, Mars is what they want to do. And, and if it was real, right, if all this was real, then how the hell do they not have, um, you know, some type of base on the moon by, the, by this point? You know what I'm saying? It's, um, and it's funny because they'll tell you there's certain clips online where these, um, you know, NASA scientists, they'll tell you that, you know, we haven't been able to, um, you know, reach, you know, out of the high Earth orbit yet. We haven't been able to you know, find a technology that can bring us, you know, safely, you know, through the um the Van Allen belt, which is basically a radiation, you know, layer, you know, above the atmosphere of the earth. Okay, before you get to space, you have to go through that. Okay, they said we can't do it. So wait a second. So if you can't get through it in the year 2021, then how the hell did you get there in the 60s then? That don't make no damn sense. You ask them that and they don't know. They'll sit there and say, well, we we lost the um the technology. The same thing with the, the moon landing tapes. They say they lost the original tapes. It's like, wait a second, how the hell could you lose possibly the um one of the greatest achievements of mankind? And somehow that just went missing. I mean, come on, if you can't see it, there's something fishy going on here, and you're a damn fool. The word fool means unlearned. So if you can't see it, something's going on, man. You just don't know what the hell is going on. You know, it's just, um, you know, it's so clear, right? It's just, it's so clear at this point, you know, that something's up, you know, with this whole, um, with these space organizations, man, right? There's clearly something that's going on with these organizations. Okay. There's clearly something's up, you know, so, um, you know, all I'm going to say, man, is, um, you know, you can't escape the earth. Right. And they know that they know that they're just pushing that propaganda, you know, out to the people. 
okay? But, you know, hey, you know, at the end of the day, man, you know, you just got to be diligent for yourself and do the, um, you know, the research into it, man. You know, that's the only way you're going to be able to, um, you know, properly, you know, understand at the end of the day is by doing the research, you know, for yourself, right? Don't just believe something, you know, because another person tells you, you know, look into it, you know, for yourself. And then you can, um, you know, you can go off of your own conclusions, right? But anyway, I just wanted to, you know, give a couple thoughts on that. As I said, it was a good documentary, right? I, I enjoyed the documentary. It was pretty, pretty good. Right, I'll, I'll leave a link to it in the comment section. I recommend giving it a watch. And um, and yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm a say shalom.